Very recently, a video emerged showing a British police officer stamping on the head of a man who was lying on the ground. The footage quickly went viral, sparking widespread questions, concerns and speculation. For the first time, CCTV footage has been released, revealing the crucial seconds before the incident. What you will see may shock you even more. Today, we're going to delve deeply into the incident and to try and understand what has happened, what led to that confrontation and the aftermath. We will also examine the broader implications for policing in the UK. The incident occurred in the multi-storey car park of Terminal 2 at Manchester Airport on the evening of Tuesday, the 23rd of July, 2024. Greater Manchester Police initially released a statement explaining that the officers had arrived at Terminal 2 to arrest a man on suspicion of assault. During the incident, a female officer suffered a broken nose and two other officers sustained injuries requiring hospital treatment. Now, we don't know uh, what that assault was, and they haven't released any details. The newly released CCTV footage shows four armed officers arriving at the scene where a family is seen near a ticket machine in the car park. The officers approach one of the reported males and immediately attempt to detain him by grabbing him around the neck from behind. This same officer is the one seen later on kicking the man in the head. Within a couple of seconds, a second suspect approaches that officer. The officer is then seen striking this second male in the face and torso multiple times. A violent struggle ensues, lasting only six seconds before the officer deploys a taser and pepper spray on the suspects. During this chaotic scene, multiple officers and suspects are involved, with both sides exchanging punches. Following the release of this video, there has been overwhelming public outrage and condemnation for the officer's actions. The mayor of Greater Manchester, Andy Burnham described the footage as disturbing and emphasized the importance of a thorough and proper investigation. He urged calm, stating, We handle these matters carefully and properly. We never shy away from difficult situations. Paul Woe, the Member of Parliament for Rochdale, identified the injured male as Fahir from Rochdale. He stated, It's right that the police officer's concerned has been removed from duties and that this incident has been referred to the Independent Office for Police Conduct, IOPC. I expect a thorough and swift investigation. Several public figures, including Prime Minister Keir Starmer and the St Home Secretary, issued statements condemning the actions and calling for a full investigation. Firstly, several protests have been held in Rochdale and the wider Greater Manchester area in support of the suspects. The two males arrested and seen being assaulted by the police were released from custody. They appeared on social media with a lawyer, explaining their version of events and requesting further formal investigation. Allegedly, the police custody sergeant has refused medical treatment to the injured suspects, forcing them to seek hospital care independently. Unfortunately, a hospital visit revealed a serious brain cyst following a CT scan. The male is now in a life-threatening condition, and we await, hopefully positive, further updates on his recovery. The IOPC announced on Friday that the Greater Manchester Police Officer is under criminal investigation for assault. A decision will be made on whether to refer this matter to the CPS, the Crown Prosecution Centre, and whether the officer should face disciplinary proceedings. Catherine Bates, who is the Regional Director for the IOPC, stated that she had met with one of the men involved and his family and will continue to update them and the police on the on the investigation's progress. We do hope, of course, for a fast and swift recovery 